Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Sorry I haven't had a video up in a couple of days, we've been a little busy. We had the Canon class and I did not have time to edit a lot. I'm trying to keep Deep South going. So I'm going to have Canning 101, the highlights of it, up, I don't know, in the next 24 hours, hopefully. I've got part of it done, just got to keep processing, and I'm having to work a little at a time. But today, I just wanted a quick update that I'm not disappeared on you guys. I'm still here. Uh, I need to go down to the cellar. Several people asked for a cellar video, so this I can do really quickly, show you a little bit, and send it up within... It take me 20 minutes or so to edit where the Canon class is taking me a little time because I have a whole bunch of short clips to go through. Um, so today I've been water bath canning. I water bath canned figs and tomatoes. I have a video coming up on the whole figs, but this is what they look like in the jar. It's simply a little light syrup over whole figs works great for breakfast. Um, the tomatoes, we're trying to keep up so we don't get behind with the tomatoes. And I water bath in my new 22 quart pot. This pot is turning out to be a great pot, guys. I water bath canned in it. I knew it would hold at least five. It held six and would have held the seventh jar a while ago. And I was just thrilled. So, this canner from Walmart, 22 quart, is plenty tall enough to water bath quarts. I've been using some of my smaller pots for pints, but none of them were big enough for a quart. This little pot here, or this big pot, is tall. And so the quarts come up into here, and you've got plenty of room for your water to be over the top, and it's awesome. So I am liking the 22 quart stainless steel pot from Walmart. And I'll try to put a link in the description below if I can find it. Okay, we are in the cellar. And this room is about a, I don't know if it's a 10 by 12, something like that. We have our potatoes, our fresh potatoes here. They're on racks. And these were old bread racks. Danny designed the uh, system here. He built the system from old bread racks. And they slide in and out so you can get your potatoes and clean out the racks. And we stack them on top as we finish with them. And so because we can so many, we don't keep too many fresh. This will be for any time we need fresh potatoes. But I make a lot of things for my canned potatoes. We also have... A futon down here if we need to come down in order to sleep for a hurricane or tornado. These boxes here are for sweet potatoes. There's nothing in them right now, but sweet potatoes coming in a couple of months. We have electricity down here. The lights are on, of course. We have a fan. And we also have a toilet. We use this um, handicap toilet for a composting toilet. Works great. The sack is full of um, sawdust, and the bottles are for water. I already have bottled water, but if we need more, we will fill it before we come down. Um, the compact posting toilet, the handicapped seat works excellent, guys. Okay, this room is also, like I said, maybe a 10 by 12, but we've Danny has built all these um, shelves in here from the floor up. The stuff on the floor... Belongs to the Lori family. Heidi Lori has been canning her little heart out plus her little storage. And there's some down here. So the Lori family has started their stash until they can get something built for their building. For their stuff over there. Um, like I said, I have some bottled water down there. But here I'm starting. we just going to give you a little kind of show. Sweet potatoes. Tomatoes. Fig um, preserves, ground beef, some empty jars, broth. And the broth goes across. The broth comes down. There's some jelly and fig preserves there. Apples and more figs, more apples. Um, scuppin' on juice, jelly and ketchup. 
pears. Go across to pears, field peas, peanuts, ground beef. In the right-hand corner, stir-fry. Left-hand corner, more jams and jellies. Top whole shelf, jams and jellies. Jams and jellies coming down. Applesauce, peaches. Now we're to green beans. Squash and tomatoes. This is different years, different things. Tomatoes. Uh, we have greens. Some more uh, jams and jellies from different years. That is the reason they're all scattered because the years are different. Uh, we're going to reorganize again shortly if we have a storm and we're down here for some reason. Green beans. That's uh, peaches. English peas, beets. Uh, I think that is... Jams and jellies, I forgot. I think it is uh, strawberry figs again. Green beans, green beans, English peas, green beans, potatoes, greens, salsa, more greens, more turnip roots, because we did put those up this year. Potatoes, 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 more English peas. Okra and squash, and this is green beans, potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. In the right-hand side, azuki beans. Down below, some more different types of field peas, beans, and broth. Then we come across, we've got green beans, green beans and squash, green beans and dried canned. Relishes, both sweet and dill. More relish in the right-hand side along with carrots, more squash, some broth, carrots, 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 carrots and green beans, green beans and green beans. Overall, this is a huge variety of stuff. There's stuff all the shelves are nearly packed. We have very little room for anything else. Uh, Danny and I are going to be building more shelves in the other room. And guys, this is five years worth of work. I have not done all this this year. For us, this is, some of it is as much as five years old. And it's still good. Just going to tell you, it is still good. At five-year mark, we evaluate if it if it's something we need to keep or we need to feed to our animals and use the jars. So we rotate out. Uh, some of the things is less than two years old because we have, like, English peas, most of the English peas were put up this year. Um, a lot of the um, things, the carrots, were put up this year. We're out of last year's carrots and English peas. So all that's fresh. That's something that we eat a lot of. So a lot of people say, what are you going to do with all that food? Surely that's not all for you. And as you can see on the bottom, there is some stuff for the Lori family. And if they get in a bind, of course, they will work and we will work out a deal with them on eating. Not going to let them starve, guys. And all this food comes in handy. Danny and I do not go to the grocery store and buy things if we don't have to. Very, very seldom. So now all our veggies and most of our fruit stuff is here. We either eat fresh or we eat canned. Or we have some in the freezer. That is it. We're working on the meats, guys. I've got a lot of meat in here now. That's something last year I did not have. So eventually we're going to be more self-sustainable than we were. Right now we're probably bumping 80 to 85% on food. The other things, it's still we're still a work in progress. But food-wise, probably 80% at least. Maybe more, but at least 80%. That's, that's a biggie. Um, when we go to the grocery store, it's things like sugar and salt and um, baking powder um, we still, if we need any milk, and we use almond milk, so it's a specialty thing. Uh, almond flour, I order bulk online because that's something I can't produce. These things are the things that we will have to do without. People ask, what would you do? We would do without. We'd figure a way out. Butter, things like that. We have the goats. We have the cows. Soon, we will be producing our own milk, butter, and cheese, but not doing it right now. And yogurt. So 
those are the things we buy. We will do without until the girls start producing if something happens. We have our own eggs. We have all the other animals for meat if we need it. So we have a place for water. We're doing good. So one thing I do is like workers that come by. We had a satellite guy. He's been here a couple of times doing things for our satellite. He loves coming working on our stuff because I always seem to hone some, something. He loves the jams. So the last two times, I've seen him home blueberry jam. He is thrilled to come work at Deep South on the satellite. So that's one of the options with all this food. It's not necessarily ours. It's for other purposes. Bartering. We love to barter. Our neighbor would come over. He wants some, to, something or Danny wants something from him. He barters and, you know, he takes some food because he loves canned food and he doesn't can. Um, another thing, we have a lot of visitors at Deep South Homestead. And this past year, I went through a lot of this storage. Uh, six weeks ago, half this cellar was empty because we used a lot of food last year. Um, Dirt Patch Heaven was here for nearly three weeks one time, and a week and a half later, uh, some they got to eat, you know. Um, we've had numerous, numerous. Scratch Made Homestead's been here a few times. We've had Amanda from Freedom Acres um, and... Then we had um, Adrian and Christopher spend a week here. Um, over and over, people are here, like the Canon class. We did everything, just about everything was from a jar, so they could see what jarred food tastes like. So this is not just our food. This is food that we use in a lot of different ways. So what am I going to do with all this food? It's not too much. Half of it was gone in one year. And so if that can happen and we are eating still a few things from the grocery store, then if we have to have just this, this will be gone in a year. It won't take long, guys. So you reevaluate what you think on your canned stuff. If you can 24 cans of green beans, that's 24 meals. How many times do you eat in one month, much less one year? So think about it. Do you have enough food to survive? Is it going to help you any at all? The prices of food's going up. And yes, it's hard to raise a garden. It's hard to can. It's hard to do all this. But at least you have, a, have something you know what it is. So this is what we do with our food. And I just wanted to throw this quick video up because it made it easier on me to throw a talking video up more than it is to do anything else. And I hope you guys will stick with me. I'll have the other videos up soon. It just takes a little more time. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.